amplifier of his present revelation position. Now, if we continue in the reading, you will see the impact of John the Baptist's voice. But I'm going to raise that impact subsequently. I will raise the impact of his voice subsequently. Oh, okay. Let's just look at it a little before we begin our journey. I can come back to it again subsequently. Next verse. Verse number... Three says, and he came into all the country about Jordan, pre preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his paths straight. This is the impact. Verse 5 reveals the impact of John's voice on the civilization of the time. Every valley shall be filled. Now, John was, he fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. And John was everything that, that the definition of a voice was. And when his ministry began to rise and his utterance began to invade the territory, he began to establish a kind of renovation. He said, every valley shall be filled. If there were omissions in the discipleship of the people, omissions in the perspective of the people, omissions in their eye view that will make them miss God, this voice now comes to bring a fill up for the omissions that will make a people miss God. Just like Jesus came, the move that Jesus brought to Israel could not be re received by Israel because there were omissions in their expectation, in their perspective of how the Messiah will come. The Bible says that he came to his own and his own received him now because there were omissions. The way he appeared in the humility of a, man, of a manger, that was now how the average Jew expected their Messiah to show up. So many times they are omissions that will facilitate the, the, uh, 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 the, the missing out on what God is doing. And part of what this voice does is that it builds up, it fills up such gaps, it fills up such, um, such valleys of ignorance so that the pedestal is put in proper perspective to expect that which God is offering a generation. The second thing that his ministry did was that uh, the, is, is, uh, the Bible says that every mountain and hill shall be brought low. These are obstacles to the present revelation position of the spirit. Things that will obscure God that we have become so used to. A voice will always humble mountains. Just like a voice will exalt valleys. A voice will humble mountains. Emphasis that have been built over time that is going to make people miss out on what God is emphasizing and what God is doing. When a voice comes upon a scene, what he does is that mountains are humbled. Philosophies that have been built up, perspectives that have been sustained, that are not altogether accurate, that will obscure the manifestation of God and not allow people to design him when he shows up. All of those obstacles are categorized as mountains. And when a voice begins to cry in the wilderness, the mountains must suffer. Because an entire renovation of the landscape must find expression. The valleys elevated. The mountains humble. The crooked paths must be made straight. And the ways must be smoothened out. If you check the nature of this renovation that this voice is, is doing, is, uh, it is geared at making a highway. So that when the Lord shows up, everybody will be able to identify him. When the Lord decides to manifest, everybody will know, yes, 
because that voice had prepared the way. He had dealt with the mountains. He had built up the valleys in their philosophies. He had, he had, he had straightened the crooked paths. There, were, there are many, many doctrines that were smuggled into the body of Christ that are crooked. The other day I was, I was on Facebook. I was just flipping through Facebook. And, um, and uh, I saw a, a post. And this post was actually made by a brother. And I, so I want to believe that he believes what he put on Facebook. And what he wrote on Facebook was that he that pays controls the drum beat. He that what? Pays controls the drum beat. Meanwhile, if you are not sensitive, you will not understand that that was a doctrine that was preached in honor of Mammon. It was not Christ that was the reference point in that emphasis. It was Mammon. That was like a charge to make the upcoming generation find a new vision. Labor to be able to pay because you will control the drumbeat. But it happens to be that in the kingdom that we find ourselves, it is Jesus that controls the drumbeat. When a voice comes, the crooked paths have to be made straight. And the renovations that are taking place is to secure a highway a clear path such that when Messiah stands upon it, it will be easy to identify him and to receive everything that he brings to a generation. This is the reason for which we need a voice. If you look also quite diligently before we begin to spell out what and what it takes in order for one, a functionary, to rise up as a voice in a generation, before we do that, it's needful for us to see the things that need to be changed. Valleys, that's number one. Mountains, number two. Crooked paths and rough ways. Those are four things that must be adjusted. Valleys, mountains.